this stunning scene happening off the coast of South Florida. A bull shark repeatedly launching itself at a fisherman's boat. And all of a sudden, something switched in the shark's brain, and he just went into full attack mode. Video producer and fishing guide Josh Jorgensen had been following a school of fish with his drone when he caught the shark battering his friend's boat. And he just went completely nuts and just started attacking the engines and just ripping them to pieces. Fishing boat captain Carl Torreson said he couldn't believe how much damage the shark caused. I didn't think a shark could actually shake the boat like that. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is like a ride from Universal Studios. Oh! In May, a similar incident captured Tiger off shark. the coast of Oahu. Tiger shark ran me. Kayak fisherman Scott Haraguchi rammed by a 10 to 12 foot tiger shark. It's miraculous that I didn't get knocked over. While in Florida, the shark bite capital of the nation, a recent string of attacks leading to alerts and beach closures. Looks like we got a hammerhead shark. A 12 year old girl bitten on the leg while swimming at Cocoa Beach. It hurts like incredibly bad. It was really, really painful and I just wasn't expecting it. But unprovoked shark attacks are rare and fatalities even more so. Researchers at Cal State Long Beach spent two years filming California beaches where great whites hang out and learn they come close to swimmers and surfers almost daily without humans even knowing. I think most people's conception of what a shark, a white shark is, is that if you see it in the water, it's going to bite you. And I think one of the things our study showed is that's simply not true. Even bull sharks, known to be more aggressive, don't usually charge like this. When they do, it can look like something out of the movies. I know this sounds insane, but that scene in Jaws where it jumps on the back of the boat, that is totally possible. Wow. Well, it seems like we're hearing a lot more about shark sightings and bites and, you know, at least compared to other years. Do we know why? Yes, Savannah, so we've seen a steady rise in shark attacks and sightings since a low point in the 1970s, 1980s, but a lot of experts are pointing to conservation efforts and a lot more people living near coastlines as reasons as to why we might be seeing that. Fortunately, alert systems and ways to monitor sharks are getting way better with technology, and the odds of being attacked by a shark is still very, very low. All right, Gotti. You. We've learned they don't want to attack you. No. And do you remember what we learned during today's Shark Week about don't, don't how to punch handle them. them? Don't punch them in don't the nose. Don't bonk them in the nose, but also what? look them in, in the eye. eye. Yeah. Yeah. Where is that from? Oh, no. We, oh, yeah, were you off that oh, week? Yeah. Oh, off. Look them in the eye. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's you part of the deal. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that with me. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.